Hey everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. So in this lesson, we are going to learn how we can access Grafana over a public domain. So there is going to be typically five steps. First, we are going to go ahead and launch an EC2 instance on AWS. Of course, if you have any other server, you can use that server. But in this case, we are going to go ahead and use AWS. And then we are going to install Docker on an EC2 instance. Then we are going to run Grafana container on Docker. Then we are going to go ahead and install and configure Nginx. Then we should be able to access Grafana over the public domain. So let's go ahead login to AWS here you can see I'm already logged in so I'm just going to go search for EC2 and here we can go ahead and select launch instance or you can also here on the left hand side select on instances and you'll be able to see all the running instances and then here you can click on launch instance so there are many ways to do it and once you are here on the launch and instance page you can provide a name to this instance so basically it is a server whatever name you want to give it to this server let's go ahead and give it i'm going to simply call it grafana1 and here I'm going to choose Amazon Linux. It is also eligible for free tier, which is good. In the architecture, we are going to leave it to 64 bit. And here we are going to select T2 Micro, which is having one virtual CPU and one gigabyte of memory. If you want more computing power, go ahead and select the larger one. Then here in the key pair login, let's go ahead, create a new key pair. Let's call it Grafana1. And here I'm going to leave it to PEM format. Let's click on create key pair and now here you can see we have Grafana 1 PEM. Now here in the network setting we are going to go ahead and allow HTTPS traffic from the internet and we are also going to keep selecting creates new security group. If you already have any existing security group which allows traffic over HTTPS you can go ahead and select that one. And here in the storage I'm going to leave it to 8 GB. Now all of these configuration which I'm showing it is good for demonstration purpose or development purpose but if you want to run EC2 instance on a production probably you need to change these settings and for that one you should talk to your AWS administrator. So let's go ahead click on launch instance and here you can see we have a success message. So now here you can see right now it's in pending state. It's gonna probably take a few seconds before it changes to running state. So it took around 20 seconds for it to move to running state. Now we are going to log into this server. Now in order to log into EC2 instance we can open a command prompt and here we can type ssh hyphen i and we need to provide path of our private key which we just downloaded and then we will need to specify username which is ec2 hyphen user and then at the rate and we also need to specify public IP address of the EC2 instance. So this is the public IP address of the instance I'm going to copy it paste it here hit enter and we should be able to log into a Grafana instance. Now here it is asking whether you want to continue. I'm just going to press yes. And here you can see now we are successfully logged into EC2 instance. Now one thing to note here is here I'm typing EC2 hyphen user, but if you are running Ubuntu operating system, the username is going to be Ubuntu. So make sure whichever operating system you are running, uh, use the default username of that. Now let's see the next step. So once we have launched EC2 instance and logged into that, we need to install Docker. So we can go ahead and follow this article. I'm going to give you a link of all the articles which you need to follow. So here you can see after login into EC2, we can go ahead and follow these steps. So I'm just going to copy it, uh, paste it here, hit enter, and then we can go ahead, copy next step, hit enter. So right now installation is taking place, probably gonna take some 20, 30 seconds. And now we can go ahead uh, run this enable step. So enable is not really going to run docker. It is going to create a symbolic link. So basically uh, in short whenever your system reboots docker services are going to get auto started. Now let's go ahead clear the screen once and then we are going to go ahead and start docker. So let's go ahead start docker and if you want to see the status of this we can do sudo system ctl status docker. So here you can see docker is active and running press ctrl c to exit from here then clear the screen and now one more thing i guess we should do is uh, by the way if you want to check the docker version you can use this command now one thing which we really want to do is uh, use this one so what this is going to do is this is going to add our current user which is ec2 hyphen user it's going to add that to docker group so we don't need to uh, prefix sudo every time we want to use docker commands. So that's why we are going to go ahead and make this user member of docker group. Okay, so once we did that, we need to re-login. So I'm just going to uh, press exit. Then we can just uh, press up arrow key. In that case, it's going to show us the previous command which we used to login, then just hit enter. 
and now we can use command like docker ps to see any other any existing container which is running so right now we don't have any container let's go ahead clear the screen now we can go ahead and run grafana container so we are going to go back to our original document and here we can see the steps which we need to follow to run a container now if you are running container just for the demonstration purpose in that case you can just go ahead and use this command for example let me just copy it and run it here so here you can see it is basically pulling uh, Grafana images and then once the images are pulled it is going to run a Grafana container and the container is going to be named my Grafana container. So now what we can do is let's do docker ps and we can see this is a container which is started and running and it is running from 9 seconds. So if you want to access Grafana you will be able to access it on 3000 port. So let's go ahead and see whether we can actually access it. I know what is going to happen, but I just want to let you know. So here you can see if I type 3000, I won't be able to actually access Grafana. Uh, the reason for that is because we created a new security group and in the security group by default, port 3000 is not allowed. So if you want to uh, use Grafana this way, in that way what you can do is, uh, here you can see we have security and in the security you can see this is the security group which got created and you can see right now only port 443 and 22 is allowed so if you want to allow grafana to be accessible on 3000 port you can just go ahead uh, go to the security group and here you can go ahead select edit inbound rules and here just go ahead add a new rule change it to custom tcp here you can change it to 3000 and if you want to allow access to everyone you can just select this one then click on save rules now uh, after a few seconds if we refresh it we should be able to access grafana so here you can see grafana is trying to launch and we have been basically successfully able to uh, launch grafana but the point here is we don't want to access grafana over this ip address right we want to access it over the domain name which can be any domain name for example i have like uh, a few domain names available in my cloudflare account let's say maybe i want to access it uh, over itpanther.com okay so i should be able to do that or let's say if i want to do like grafana.itpanther.com should take me to uh, this instance so i would like to do those kind of things okay so for that we will need to do further configuration so let's go ahead and do that now one thing to notice here is uh, we use this command to uh, run grafana container so in this case whatever uh, grafana related application database is created that is created inside the docker container so if i stop this docker container and uh, remove it in that case all the data is also going to get lost so we don't want that to happen that's the reason we are going to go ahead and create a grafana storage so let's go ahead and do that so let's copy it and paste it here hit enter and you can see it is saying grafana storage is basically created so we can do docker inspect or other docker volume inspect grafana hyphen storage so here you can see now we have a volume which is called grafana storage and this volume is actually pointed here so right now if i do cd and move inside this directory okay no so basically we were not able to switch there so what we can do is sudo su hyphen switch to a root user and then we can run this one let's go ahead paste it and then do pwd so right now we are moved into this directory if we do ls you can see right now we do not have any data so this data is going to get created once we run a new grafana container pointing to this volume storage okay so let's go ahead clear the screen and first of all we need to stop this uh, current grafana container so i'm just going to do docker stop and then the name of the container and then we can do docker rm and name of the container now if we do docker ps so now you can see we don't have any docker container running okay we already discussed and did all of this now let's go ahead and use this one so just paste it here now here you can see uh, the command which we are using is docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name uh, the name of the container is my grafana container then we have port then here you can see grafana storage now here we are mounting our grafana storage volume to the volume inside the container which is at slash where slash lib slash grafana now i guess this is by mistake we just need to write a grafana slash grafana once then hit enter okay so now what it has done is now our grafana if you do docker ps you can see we have container running but if you now do docker volume inspect grafana hyphen storage and move inside this 
directory again and then do ls you can see this grafana related uh, database which is grafana.db is available here and we have certain other important directories which is required for grafana alerting or grafana uh, images all of these available here as well so if you install any plugin you will see additional directories being created here okay so until here we are sorted out we are running uh, grafana properly and we are able to access grafana over a public url so now let's see what is the next step next step is of installing nginx so let's scroll down and see the steps which is required to install nginx okay so now to install nginx we can run this set of command i'm just going to copy it one by one and going to paste it here so first command is installing nginx and then we can copy and paste second command which is enabling nginx to get started at boot time and then we are going to go ahead start nginx and then we can do sudo systemctl status nginx okay so we have nginx running now let's clear the screen now we need to make few configuration related changes here now we need to configure nginx to allow to send traffic to the backend which is grafana so this is a configuration file which we will need i'm just going to copy it and we need to move to slash etc slash nginx slash conf dot d if you do ls here you can see this is right now empty so we are going to create a file called nginx hyphen grafana dot conf you can give it any file name you just need to make sure it is ending with dot conf so let's do vi nginx hyphen grafana dot conf now for the time being let's go ahead copy it and paste it here so now what we need to do here is uh, here in the server name we will need to provide the name of the domain on which we want to access grafana and for that one what we will need to do is uh, let's go to our uh, dns manager so in this case it is basically cloudflare and let's say we want to access uh, grafana on grafana.itpanther.com so we need to go to here we need to go to dns management now if you are on hostinger it is the same step which you need to follow just the interface is going to be different so here we need to go to add a record and we need to add a record which is going to be uh, grafana now here you can see once i type grafana you can see the url which is going to be is grafana.itpanther.com okay which is going to point to an ipv4 address uh, which is going to be the ip address of ec2 instance so let's go ahead click on ec2 instances and we created grafana1 which is this one and we need to use this public IP address and we can paste it here. Now click on save and this takes some like uh, two to three minutes or can take up to actually 48 hours for this to reflect. On Cloudflare I have noticed it typically takes like one to two minutes. So it should get reflected in like one to two minutes. Okay, so now here we can use in the server name we can use grafana.itpanther.com now if you don't want to use subdomain in that case you don't need to use uh, subdomain you can just do itpanther.com now here in the ssl certificate we need to provide ssl certificate i'm just going to show you how you can uh, get it from cloudflare so here you can see uh, we need to go to ssl then we can go to origin server and here we need to go ahead and click on create a certificate and here you can make sure you have allowed star dot whatever your domain name is and then there is one entry should be like this okay uh, everything looks okay here by default it is 15 year certificate so i'm just going to go ahead use this one click on create and here you can see uh, cloudflare is giving a certificate so we are going to use this one and this is going to be called let's say we want to call it uh, grafana.cert and we are going to call it grafana.key okay so basically we need to create this file called grafana.cert at this location and need to add certificate content there which i'm going to do right now so let's save this file and exit from here and we are at this location so here i'm going to do grafana.cert and here i'm going to paste whatever the certificate content which i copied from cloudflare now we need to copy this key go ahead do grafana.key and we can add this here in the key save and exit and let's do ll now let's check the configuration file again 
So here let's try to understand this. What we are telling is that any request which, which Nginx is going to get on grafana.itpanther.com over this port which is 443 it should redirect all of those requests to this local host which is 127.0.0.1 okay this is referring to local host and it should redirect it to port 3000 okay so all the requests from public uh, domain or public users are coming to us over https and once it reaches to this server to nginx then nginx is using http to send the request to grafana now we can go ahead and save it and exit from here. Uh, we need to, let's clear the screen once, let's do nginx-t. Uh, this is going to let us know whether our configuration is successful or there is any syntax error. So let's hit enter. So here you can see configuration is fine, there is no error. So we can do a reload or restart of nginx. So let's do system ctl. Restart nginx okay let's just do okay here in the cloud player now we don't need to do much here in the cloud player now ideally if i do uh, grafana.itpanther.com it should redirect me to uh, grafana okay so let's see what happens so here you can see it is redirecting me to uh, grafana which is fine let's do admin admin which is the default username and password to log into grafana okay yeah so everything looks good we are able to access uh, grafana so that's all in this lesson hope this lesson helped you if you have any comment do let me know in the comment section if you like this tutorial of course go ahead and write a thank you note in the comment box or just like the video so that's all for now and i'll see you again in the next lesson